Hey, this is Sridhar from WPDevDesign.com. Tiki Boom is out with his latest video in the series of Can It Be Done with Beaver Builder, in which he shows how this tab system in Airtable's website can be built in Beaver Builder. In this screencast, I want to show how the same thing can be done in Oxygen. So we'll first create a new page. And I'm going to start with a blank slate without any header or footer. So I'm going to select none to inherit from. And edit the page with oxygen. So what we're going to do is uh, first create a section and inside that we're going to add a tabs element and since everything is um, flexbox and oxygen it makes it really easy to um, switch the order in which the tabs appear the titles appear and the content appears so first i have added a section and now i'm going to add a tabs element So let us change the titles of the tabs. Yep, it's the other way around. So by default, uh, this tabs element adds three tabs and also uh, three divs for the tabs content. I'm going to duplicate this uh, tab a couple of times. And we will change the tab titles. Okay, so now next thing I'm going to do is to duplicate the tab content a couple of times. As you can see here for this particular section, uh, the child elements by default they stack vertically. I'm going to click on this button to set this to be horizontal. So we can't really see much but um, the tabs is here and the tabs content is right now on the right side. So what we want is for this tabs uh, entire tabs div to move to the right. And we can do this by setting the order of this to 2. Okay, so that moves the tabs to the right, but these tabs themselves, the individual tab titles, I would like these to be one below the other. So with this particular tabs div selected, I'm going to click on this button to stack the child elements vertically one below the other like that. But what we have, what we should have on the right side is not just the tabs, but also the heading and a text link. So what we are going to do is to add a div and inside that I'm going to add a heading, a text link, and then move these tabs inside the div. Like that okay so we have earlier set the order of this particular tabs div to 2 we should remove that and instead set it for this div so this is the div that we would like to be positioned to the right so let me first remove that order and select the div and set it like that okay I'm going to change the text content 
and reduce the font size a bit and also the probably make it h2 and change the line height so it's not so something like that is reasonable we'll add some bottom margin like that and also we'll add some spacing below the text link take the product tour so i'm going to change the text of this to take the product tour like that okay so right now the heading and the text link elements are like butting to the left edge i could add some padding to the left of these two to move these th uh, move them to the right okay so let's use 19 pixels of um, padding at the left like that okay and as you can see um, the width of this tabs is not really wide enough ideally the click area should be uh, wide as much as possible so with the tabs div selected i'm going to set the width to 100 percent cool okay so let me select the first one and you can this is the tab content so with this tab content first tab content they've selected i'm going to add a image element and change the image to this particular one and we don't need the text anymore so i'm going to delete that and repeat this process for the other four tabs Okay, so you can see that it works. We have got the basic structure and layout in place. Now it's just a matter of uh, adjusting the CSS to make it a little better. Oh, and one more thing we could do is to, let me collapse these two. So this particular section, we could um, set the vertical item alignment to middle so that everything is nicely balanced out, uh, similar to how it is here. Okay. And we could also reduce the width of this right side uh, area to something like two sixty pixels. Um, we'll just use three hundred like that. Okay. And if you notice this uh, sample site that we are trying to recreate, uh, the images have a rounded corner and also like a border or a box shadow. So let us try to inspect that and use the CSS from here. Okay, so looks like what's happening is that the element itself is like getting disappeared as the tabs keep switching and that makes it really difficult to inspect uh, thankfully chrome uh, we can use f8 to pause the uh, javascript so what i'll do is with the chrome developer tools open i'm going to click on the web page and press f8 so that will basically pause 
um, the debugger and now I can inspect this without things jumping around okay so we see a border radius of six pixels and a fade up in custom animation and a box shadow um, I could set this for the tab content div but the problem is that there is a padding that I would like to keep so I'm gonna use that particular CSS on all these images inside the tab content as you can see the tabs content have this particular class and this class is present for all the other tab content divs as well so I'm going to copy that and select the body element and add a code block um, by default the code block adds a hello world PHP code so I'm gonna comment it out we are interested only in the CSS part so inside this class is a image element right IMG for this we want the border radius of 6 pixels and also this particular animation and this box shadow okay now we have specified the name of the animation as fade up in but that is not really existing anywhere so if i click on this particular uh, helpers.css on the reference site it jumps to that particular um, css block so i can copy that and do a search for it and we jump to the place where it is defined so I'm going to copy that and paste it in here and you can see that um, the images now have the rounded border as well as the box shadow and also when I switch it should have a smooth transition like a fade up fade fade up in animation that we have applied okay cool so what we can do next is to let me get rid of this okay, we're done with that. Um, for the active tab we could set a background color and set a border radius so I'm gonna select the active class and for the background color I'll just make it a light blue for example and let's set a border radius of 10 pixels okay cool so I'm gonna save it and take a look at this on the front end okay I think that should be it for the oh there is one more thing we forgot we forgot to add these icons for the text so let's go back to the grid and inside this tab element I'm gonna add a icon element and move this above the text and we want the icon and the text to be next to each other so I'm gonna select the parent element and click on that button and we want the vertical element to be middle so now we'll select the icon and reduce the size to say 32 pixels add some margin at the right and change the icon to something else how about that for a grid okay so I just repeat the process um, I'm going to select that icon and duplicate it uh, four times and now we just move this thing to the corresponding place
okay so for the calendar I'm gonna look for calendar and select that icon Kanban I doubt anything will be there so um, I just select that gallery we set some image icon and for the form I'll select that cool okay save that so we are done with um, setting this up on the desktops let's see how this behaves responsively I'm gonna select the second breakpoint 1120 pixels and below and it looks okay 992 pixels it is not okay so what we'll do here is to make this entire right side thing appear at the bottom So I'm going to select this section and set the child elements to stack vertically like that. And for this day, we have uh, set a width of 300 pixels earlier. So I will go and change that to, I could probably just remove that. Um, actually, it is not showing. So I'll just set this to 100%. Okay. And what I would like to have is for the center tabs to appear directly below the tabs content and then the heading and the text link. But before that, let's center horizontally the entire thing. So I'll go back to primary and click on that button. So we'll have the flex box controls and set the horizontal item alignment. And then I'm going to select the the tabs div and repeat the process okay so let's first change the order of this I would like to set the order of the tabs to one so I will go to advanced and layout set that to one it's supposed to move to the top anyway we'll select the heading and change this order to two probably then it will work there you go and select the text link and set the order of this to three okay and within this tabs I would like these things to appear horizontally so I will select that option and will select the horizontal item alignment as well like that cool so I could add some margin at the bottom like that okay so let's go to the next breakpoint which is 768 pixels and here um, the tabs are not all appearing in the same line so what we could do uh, is to use the flex wrap property and set its value to wrap um, so they should be stacked horizontally but they should wrap so I'll go to advanced layout and flex wrap as wrap okay and we are done so let me reload this page and let me start reducing the width so at a certain width it will the tabs will appear at the bottom like that and they'll start wrapping so everything is nice clean and accessible okay so i hope you found this tutorial helpful bye for now